So, hello, Noah and Baba. Hello. Welcome to the keller. No, again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just sang two songs for us here. Yeah. Can you tell us which songs you chose and why? Sure. Um, the first one is Sitting on Gold. It's um, a song that I um, perform with my band. Um, and it's a little bit my artist blues. Um, I wrote it where I was like, oh my god, this job is hard. Being a musician is super hard. Making a living out of being a musician is super hard. But uh, I love it so much. <laughs> um, this is the first one. And the second one is Not Going Back, which is um, hopefully going to be in my solo project. Um, that may or may not happen. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, yes. Uh, and it's a little bit about reflecting over um, about the, the time or the road that you that you made and um, being very happy for where you are and really not fucking wanting to go back to where you've been before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, you once were asked how to uh, describe your music and um, your answer was, or the answer of your piano player at that time was It's angry women music. Exactly. So, is it uh, still that way? Yeah, it, it gets angrier, I think, uh, every time. Um, <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you angry? <laughs> Why am I angry? I don't know. I'm a woman and I am angry. Um, <laughs> it's very irrational. Um, <laughs> No, I think that um, uh, when Kai, that was the first piano player that I worked with, and we were asked in an interview, and uh, he really made me laugh because it was unexpected. Like, he was just like, yeah, easy, angry woman music. And I'm like, hmm, I like it. It <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I'm like, yeah, exactly. Um, and um, it's just, I think because of the way that I write and what I write about, which is a little bit like... Um, not a little bit, it's mostly about my feelings, about relationships, about processing the emotions and um, a lot of them are anger and I think that anger is a very very important emotion to experience in o order to work something out um, like you know there, there are the, the stages um, and anger is very, very important for me to, to reach in order to really let a situation that I didn't like, let it go. Mm -hmm. And why are you so angry? What are the things that make me angry? That make you angry? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, not being understood. I, th I think, yeah, just being considered just angry, irrational. Um, and this is something that I think a lot of women, but not just women, um, feel it, like um, that your emotions don't matter in a situation or especially really in romantic relationships, it's something that you get into such a loop if the other person doesn't understand or respect your emotions. Um, and I think that I always felt like my emotions were not taken seriously. So when I write the song, I really, it's my way of processing this, getting all the anger out. And I think it's very important also as a woman to freely say, I'm angry. Because uh, women for many years were not considered angry, they were considered hysterical. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, I'm not hysterical, I'm pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. And that's yeah. completely yeah, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Men can be angry and then women cannot. No, 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 I'm pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just so good to release all that anger and it's a huge energy just that is inside that must get out of you. Exactly. Yeah, so you just said that there are uh, certain events in your life that bring you to, to write a song, but how exactly does your process look like? to uh, write it, to write to create to compose yeah so i uh, it's good with the anger like because it is a lot of anger and i think that because anger is such a strong emotion it really is a, a super strong emotion 
um, and it really drives me to to put everything in order. Like I started writing just in order to. I once described it, I think, to a friend as like a, a weird cloud, messy cloud above mm -hmm. my head. And the moment where I sit down and actually write everything, it's like, and put it in like a nice little basket with a ribbon, with music. And if people don't even listen to the, the lyrics, they think like, oh, that's a nice song. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, no, I'm angry. Uh, I have to sort it out. Like, this is, I don't know, this is unfair. This is not cool. And that's a little bit my therapy. And yeah, a lot of anger goes in there because I think this, for me, it's the strongest emotion from which I can, you know, use the right energy. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But do you usually write at home or different places? Mm, so most of the time I, I write at home. Like I uh, started it because I was uh, um, starting off with just me with the guitar. Mm -hmm. Um, but now I actually do with my band that I have now, um, over the last five years actually, um, we do songwriting together, um, which means they start, uh, um, I don't know, a melody or someone brings an idea, sometimes it's me, but a lot of the times now it's them. And um, then I always start writing from, I guess, some kind of topic that I already have in my head. Like if it's, a, I don't know, this week this and this happened, I had a talk with a friend um, that made me look at a situation differently. And then, yeah, just start yeah. writing the lyrics. And would you say there is a difference between a private norm and the norm that people see on the stage? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you stay exactly the same. I think so. I think it's a little bit more out, like outgoing stage presence, but I don't think that there is a difference. I behave. I'm just as unladylike on stage as I am like with my friends and uh, yeah, just this. Oh, oh, look at me, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very loud. <laughs> yeah, I think I would agree on that because I know you a while now and also <laughs> privately. So uh, that's why I also watched your career uh, the last six years. At least. Yeah. And I remember when I saw you the first time playing, you were alone playing or with a piano player or a cello player. Mm. and. Can you sum up what happened to them? Because meanwhile you have a band and, and even the style changed a little bit. Can yeah. you sum it up? Of course. Um, so in the beginning it was just me, as I said, with the guitar. Um, and I wrote songs kind of for myself. I don't think that I really believed that I'm a musician. It was just like a way to vent, mm -hmm. as we said. Um, and then I started working with a piano player and, um, and of course, you know, when you have a guitar and piano, uh, then um, it kind of goes to a specific sound, like singer, songwriter, a little bit more ballad -y. Um But I always, always, always had the dream of a bigger band on stage. Definitely saxophone. I always wanted saxophone since I'm 16. I'm like in love with this instrument. And, um, and yeah, I always imagined myself a little bit like Amy Winehouse on stage, you know, because she has her style, she is a songwriter, she was uh, an incredible songwriter, and I liked the style, I liked the, mm -hmm. I don't know, blues, uh, yeah. R&B, and um, yeah, and of course then with the help of my band, my wonderful band, and uh, they're making it also possible, because now, I also rap, for example. This is not something that I thought that I would do on stage seven years ago, but one day I started doing it, and I like, love yeah. it more. I think it's yeah. very well too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so I really have to thank them also to, like, for the contribution to the style of music yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, with the band, you did two tours through Europe. Yeah. So it's, I guess, very bonding and stuff. And uh, the last tour was this year, so it uh, ended 
I think some days before the lockdown, it yeah. was really just on time. Exactly. Uh, how is it now? Where, what are you working on and what are the plans for the next time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with this incredible band, I uh, we went on two European tours. It was always very, very crazy and self-organized uh, by Tobias Eckford, the drummer. Um, he actually doesn't need to sleep, he just needs <laughs> cigarettes and, uh, and his laptop to survive. And um, yeah, we, this year we came back, I think, to Germany in the like, beginning, first week of March. And we did the last concert, actually, in Hanover, I think, at the Frankost Lampe. Um, it was pretty crazy. And uh, of course it was quite still for a few months and it took us time to um, sort through some plans that we have. And with the band we definitely have some projects coming up, like we had a video, uh, we shot a video and it's going to be very, very, very nice. I can't wait to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, to, I, never, I haven't seen anything yet, but I know that it's going to be really crazy. And we shot it right here in the Keller mm -hmm. Drive. <laughs> and um, yeah, we have a little bit more projects, but I can't talk about it yet. Mm. No. And <laughs> no, but maybe in general, your artistic vision for the future, if you have something like that. I, th I think we, like at least with the band, we, we want to play festivals when they are possible mm -hmm. again. Um, and we just want to play bigger stages if it's possible. Um, and I also decided during Corona, because I think for a lot of people it was like the time of a lot of realizations, mm -hmm. um, that I have some songs that I really like that we don't use with the band. and. Yeah, hopefully work on a solo solo album. That is uh, a wish that mm -hmm. I have for the future. Yeah, and you already started, right? And have the first songs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess um, the uh, rest of the year we will see videos and some more things. You already yeah. started uh, doing concerts again. Mm -hmm. Of course, with all you need to to uh, do with distancing and stuff, yeah. but you started again, that's nice. Yeah, thank God for uh, Region Hannover that they actually uh, started organizing shows for, for a lot of uh, local bands. I think it's like, of course, on the, fina uh, on the financial aspect, it's really great, but at the same time, it, it's also great for, for us as artists to go back on stage, because yeah. it's what we are, it's who we are. I really freaked out a few months where like I couldn't have that part of who I am and who the band is like yeah. to perform in front of people. Uh, it's a little bit sad that people can't dance right now, but uh, yeah, you can see the energies and they're happy. Yeah. So this makes us happy. Back. Yeah, yeah exactly. like one day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It was a pleasure to uh, listen to your performances and um, mind um, to watch them also on YouTube on our Keller 3 channel. Mm -hmm. Yes, thanks for coming here. Thank you, yeah. girls. And before we are finished here, uh, I wanted to ask you, because you said already you made your video here and now we're sitting here, you mm -hmm. just played two songs here. So what's your relationship to this? place here. To kill yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, um, I don't know, it's where, I, I feel like where the, it's the living room a little bit of, of all, all of us. All of us. <laughs> yeah, okay, all of us, we, the people who don't know what is all of us, like it's so many artists, and the, I think we, we, we came here the first time, all of us to, like, together, 2017, mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, and since then you took over here and I couldn't be happier because, yeah, I think you've done a great job with the place. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I don't know, it's just beautiful to always come here and see the artists. I played here a few times as well 
and my band did the like we did an EP release party uh, here. It's just like a second home, and I feel it's a second home for a lot of artists here uh, in Hanover. So yeah, just so keep, it's a keep good it going. Relationship. No anger. No no so far. <laughs> okay. no songs about Kela. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Only about the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then thank you so much for being here and thank you for this short, quick and nice interview. Thank you, girls. And yeah, you're welcome here every time. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hände desinfizieren. <lacht>